Vaccines are one of the best gift humanity have ever gifted to itself, probably. Today we will explore the answer of how vaccines work against the viruses and how they are made. Before understanding the weapon, we must know about the target, the virus. The name is from a Latin word meaning, slimy liquid, or, poison. Viruses are not living things. Viruses are complicated assemblies of molecules, including proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, and carbohydrates, but on their own they can do nothing until, they enter a living cell. Without cells, viruses would not be able to multiply. A virus must use cell processes to replicate. The viral replication cycle can produce dramatic biochemical and structural changes in the host cell, which may cause cell damage. These changes, called cytopathic effects, can change cell functions or even destroy the cell. This number of damaged cells increases exponentially. Here vaccines enters the game. Vaccines contain weakened or inactive parts of a particular organism, antigen, that triggers an immune response within the body. Newer vaccines contain the blueprint for producing antigens rather than the antigen itself. Regardless of whether the vaccine is made up of the antigen itself or the blueprint so that the body will produce the antigen, this weakened version will not cause the disease in the person receiving the vaccine, but it will prompt their immune system to respond much as it would have on its first reaction to the actual pathogen looking complicated then imagine this like you have to give a test but you don't know which questions are going to ask an exam then your friend gives you the leaked question paper which contains the questions coming in exam with other questions too thus you get easily passes in exam here you acts like immune system exam is like pandemic questions are viruses your friend is the vaccine and that leaked paper is blueprint or antigen that leaked question bank gave you a booster for scoring more marks Yes, it's like cheating but for our good health. However there are some more complicated process are done while fighting with viruses, but we have only tried to simplify them for you. Some vaccines require multiple doses, given weeks or months apart. This is sometimes needed to allow for the production of long-lived antibodies and development of memory cells. In this way, the body is trained to fight the specific disease-causing organism, building up memory of the pathogen so as to rapidly fight it if and when exposed in the future. Vaccinating not only protects yourself, but also protects those in the community who are unable to be vaccinated. If you are able to, get vaccinated. Throughout history, humans have successfully developed vaccines for a number of life-threatening diseases, including meningitis, tetanus, measles and wild poliovirus. During this pandemic wear masks, follow social distancing and get vaccinated. That's it for now, I hope you learned something new today. To join this journey, explore the subscribe button and hit it. Let's explore all at one spot. Thank you.